In this video, you're going to learn how to create a LinkedIn profile that converts. And I'm going to walk you through five key things that you need to do if you want to use LinkedIn as a powerful marketing tool to generate leads and drive website traffic. So the first of those five things is really just to set up an account. And you can do that by going to linkedin.com and just joining the network. It's fairly simple and they're just going to walk you through a couple of steps. Now, once you sign up, you're going to start having to add certain things to your profile. And the first and the most important of those is a profile image. So I'm going to walk through this element of the profile and a couple of a couple of others and show you some best practices on them. So your profile image is extremely important. Not only does it show up on your profile page here, but also if I come into my feed in newsfeed, which is essentially like the feed on Facebook, you can see that the profile image is here as well. So you really do want to have a clear image that people can recognize you by. And um, the, that really has a profile image, you'd actually be surprised. A lot of people if I look at say my connections here, they don't have profile images. And there's no way that they're going to be successful in building a network and generating leads on LinkedIn, if they don't have a profile image. So it seems like a fairly basic thing, but you would be shocked at how many people don't even bother creating an image. Now in terms of the image itself, you can see if I go back here to mine, it's quite a cl close cropped shot of my face. There's nothing really distracting in the background there. And I think uh, hopefully you can recognize that's me fairly easily. Even if I was in the newsfeed here, where the image is smaller, or even smaller again, I think you could recognize that as me. And one thing that I've done here is I've kept this consistent across all of my social media profiles. So Twitter, Facebook, etc. It is important to keep it consistent. Now, in this image here, you can see it's kind of a yellow background and kind of blondy hair. And so it's not jumping off the page as much. Maybe she could improve upon that a little bit. Even if I look into my network here, let me get you a couple of other examples. Um, you can see this white background pops, you, the person pops off for quite a lot. So a single colored background can often be good. You can see here, there's quite a lot going on in the background which may ne not necessarily be bad, but it, it doesn't pop out as much as just a single color background, as you can see. Also, you can see a background here with a lot of, of writing in, in it. And I don't think that's a good idea. Because again, it's hard to recognize a face when it's so small like that. And also the writing in the background is just distracting and you can't actually see it very well. I think you'll agree here when it's like that. So for Joanne here, Maybe what she could do is have a much get much closer to the camera, uh, have a plain background, and then it'd be easier to recognize her. And even just recognizing who someone is, is the first step in order to connect with them. So the profile picture seems fairly basic, but you can see a lot of people do make mistakes on it. So it's just worth pointing out. Now, after you've uploaded your profile image, the next thing you want to do is create a headline. And this is something that I can even work on now. And I'm going to show you a couple of other examples. So I've just said here marketer and online instructor. Now actually, the best thing to do here is not to focus on just who you are, or what you do, what the what the job title is, but actually to show how you can add value to people. So let me show you a couple of examples of this. So we have Mustafa here, he works in Microsoft. And you can see, he says digital wizard helping you in a rapidly changing digital world. Let's connect. Now I think personally, he could maybe improve upon that a little bit and get a little bit more specific, like how is he helping people. Um, but he focuses on helping you in a rapidly changing digital world. So that is a good headline, because it shows that things are constantly changing, it is overwhelming to keep up with the constant change. And this is a guy who can help me keep up. So that is a, an attractive value proposition. It's not just his job title, but he's actually saying how he can help you. And also here, I think this is a great call to action to include let's connect. And that's something that can help you increase your connections automatically, because you're giving that call to action and inviting people to connect. And also you've given that value proposition of why they should connect in the first place. So you're saying why they should connect. And then you're saying let's connect. 
and then there's a good chance that I'm going to do it. Now remember that this headline is probably the single sentence on your profile that's going to get the most amount of visibility. People are not going to scroll down all the way, you know, read through everything. 80% or 90% of, of what people are going to see is just on this single line alone. So it is worth giving a little bit of thought to. Let's have a look at another example of a good headline here. So helping clients stay secure by hacking them first before malicious hackers do. So that is a great value proposition as well. He's helping clients stay secure by hacking them first before malicious hackers do. So that's a great reason to get in touch with him or to connect with him or to hire him because he can help you stay secure before the bad guys do. So nice value proposition. Let's have a look at another example here. Uh, you can still include the role inside sales at Microsoft, empowering people every day in the UK market to achieve more. So this is a good one because it says the role, so it's clear exactly what they are. And uh, it's even more specific in terms of the market and you know what they're helping people to do. So those are three different examples of how can you can think about that headline. One of a clear call to action and create a value proposition for that. The other is to kind of give your value proposition again and show the negative effects of maybe not reaching out to this person. And then the other is do a kind of a combination to show the role so it is very clear what exactly your role is and then even maybe get some specifics in terms of the marketplace. Now if you want to edit your headline, very simple, um, you can just come in and you can go ahead and edit it there. Okay, so I've just taken a look at some of those best practices and examples updated my own. Instructor Udemy Empowering Small Businesses to Grow with Digital Marketing. It might be a little bit long. Let's save this and see how this looks. I can just click OK. So I think that looks pretty good there for a first draft. Maybe I'll come back and try and get this down onto one line. But you can see I think that's a lot better than it was before where it was just essentially what my role was and there wasn't much of an incentive for people to connect or to reach out to me um, because it didn't say exactly how I could help them. So I think that's a lot better and I would take these uh, best practices into account for yourself. So we've talked about creating your account, we've talked about the profile image, we've talked about the headline and now let's talk about the summary and this is something that I could work on as well. Now, one of the cool things that I've noticed on LinkedIn is that they have actually, once you've started to update your profile a little bit where you've worked, they have actually pulled together a summary for me. So writing a summary can be hard. That's why we've created one for you to get started. So if I look at this summary, it says, experienced instructor with demonstrated history working in e-learning industry, skilled in marketing management, negotiation, business planning, sales, e-commerce, strong education, professional graduate. Okay, so some of that is accurate and actually surprisingly good summary that they've pulled together through artificial intelligence, I think. So I can, if you have that option, you can just add that in to get started. Now I will need to edit this a little bit again. And before I do, I would recommend you have a look at some examples again. Now to see how I could improve this, let us look again at these examples to see what we could do better. So if we look at Mustafa here, okay, so he is talking a little bit more about himself here now. Um, and I would even say if he focused more like he did in the headline here, where he did on how he can help you, then that is going to uh, keep people reading and, and reading down. But the interesting thing that he's done here is he says how to reach him. Reach me on LinkedIn message. He gives his phone number and he gives an email and he also has a little call to action if you could endorse my skills. So this is I think the most interesting part of this profile here and something that you could just copy and paste and put on your profile as well. He gives a little bit of background in terms of uh, what he's done but then this is very interesting. Reach me on, say, a LinkedIn message. 
so I can open up and edit my summary again. Obviously I'll have to change the number. But this is a great idea because if the purpose of your LinkedIn profile is to generate leads and connections and potential customers, then make it easy for them to reach out to you and give them specific instructions about how to do that. You could even narrow that down to one and say, best way to reach out is through LinkedIn or by email. So I'll just uh, leave that there for the moment. I think that was a good idea from that profile. And now let's look at Terry here to see what he's going to come into. Again, you can see call me directly and he's actually put in a little symbol, which is actually a pretty cool idea and something that I could do. Call me directly. And that's even a nice little thing to put in because it shows that, um, you know, they're going to be talking directly to Terry. Here's another great example for to book a free consultation with me. Great idea. Please visit for media interviews, visit Terry, blah, blah, blah. So what I like out of this is let us take this again. And this is the key point that I want to get across as well. You don't have to reinvent the wheel. Just look at people who are already doing it well and uh, take the best of what they're doing. And then you can use it for yourself. Call me directly at, okay, you can fill that in later. Um, okay, so I've tidied that up a little bit then. So this is another option that they could do. Book me for a, a free 30 minute consultation for media or speaking engagements, please visit that. So that's actually a great little line in there as well, because it shows that you are open to uh, doing interviews and speaking engagements. And that's even a lot clearer than just saying something like, send me a LinkedIn message or phone me because it's showing, you know, essentially why they should call you. And even here, book a 30 minute consultation. Um, even if you could say, you know, specifically about what, book a 30 minute consultation to, um, to learn how to protect your business in the case of maybe Terry here, because he's focused on uh, cybersecurity. So let's have a look uh, this final profile doesn't have a summary right now. So it is something that um, maybe she could include. So those are just some ideas and examples for what you can do in your profile. I would suggest you don't focus on I because you can see in the auto generated LinkedIn profile here, there doesn't mention I once, it kind of just says your experience. Um, and you know, what are the things that you're experienced in? And then I think after you do that, you can add in some specific call to actions. And I think we saw some good ideas there. Just even reach me on LinkedIn. Or if you want to get more specific, I think these were brilliant ideas. I book a free consultation for media interviews and speaking engagements. Visit me on whatever website. You can link directly that or to call me directly on that as well. So I'll just save those for the moment just to show you how that's going to appear. And you can see it's pretty short, but I think it gets straight to the point. And um, I think that is a great way that you can enhance that summary and use that summary to generate leads. They're going to read the headline then they're going to move down. And so it is important to remind them to connect or just keep moving in the page to read more about you. Now we've already looked at three of the five things that you can do, adding the profile image, headline summary, and now we're looking at the fourth thing that you can do to generate more leads or grow your presence on LinkedIn. And that is to create a custom URL. So I've already done it here, but you're going to find this option in the sidebar under your contact and personal information. And down here, you can create a customized URL for your LinkedIn profile. And this is great because you can put it on business cards and it's not just a long string of random numbers and letters, but you can just edit that for yourself. You can put that on business cards. It looks great on a website. It's a short link that you can paste anywhere. And it just uh, is a great thing to do, similar to what you might do on Facebook or YouTube. You can create that custom URL very, very handy and you can just edit it in there. Your, your own name might not be available, 
And so luckily mine was just first name, surname. If you your name isn't available, one great tip is just to put your middle initial. So my middle name is Michael. So I would just have put Dara M. Walsh and probably that custom thumbnail would have been available. So use your middle name as a middle initial if your first name, surname is not available. Now, the final thing that you can do to build a profile that converts is also add in your website URL. You can also put your phone number in here as well and your email here as well. So we have said that we will put this in this information in our summary, but not everybody looks to the sidebar here, but it's great to have this information here as well. And that'll help you get more contact from people and also get more traffic to your website because it's listed here. And you can set that up to either go directly to maybe an email sign up form where they get a free PDF. You don't just have to send them to your profile. You can be quite creative with that. And that's something you can actually do in your summary as well. If you're linking off to your website, you could say, you know, get instead of a free PDF consult or a free consultation, you could say get a free PDF about the most important things in cybersecurity for 2018, as an example. And then they go there, they have to put in their email address, and then you send them the PDF. But that's a great way to not just put a link necessarily to your homepage, but also use it as a way to get actually emails from LinkedIn. So now we have covered the five steps to build a profile that converts. Go ahead to linkedin.com, set up your accounts and implement these five strategies so you can generate more website traffic and leads from LinkedIn. It's the first step to really starting uh, and 